So people requested that I do another tutorial on how to do a modded server on the Feather Client. It's very similar to how to make a regular server, with the only exception being that it's Forge. You know, you have to add in the mods, you have to add in everything, and you know, here I'm on the Feather Client. I actually used this server recently uh, as a um, event server, and I turned the server right here into a modded server. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And so this is how it looks like. I use the Flans mod, which by the way, this video will be posted soon to so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for, you know, to, to, to see this event. But using the Flans mod, right? Right here is the, the Forge server jar. I put it in here, I renamed it as server jar. Then I started the server and then I ended the server and then I put in the mods that I need to put in, which are all the Flans mods and all that stuff and also world edit. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna restart the process that I did for that server and show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so down below is the link to Forge, all right? Now, before I continue, I just wanna say right now that the Forge for Minecraft 1.18.2, it, it's set up a little differently. You might need to go back to an older version of 1.18.2 Forge that gives you a, a uh, Forge jar. Cause I think the, the more recent versions of Forge, they don't actually have a Forge jar. I don't know why they did that in particular, but yeah. I think this does require a jar file, so let me see if, if I can do it for 1.18.2, but if I can't do it, then I'll do it for an earlier version. And so overall, I think it's from 1.16.5 and down. Maybe 1.17 also works, but 1.16.5 and down, they all have, you know, just a regular jar file. So let's install for 1.16.5, and let me show you what I'm talking about. You skip the ad, you click on the forge 1.16.5, you hit the server that you want to go to by going to the, you know, the roaming, dot feather, player server, servers, and this is the server right here. All right, now we're gonna install the server right here. And here's the server jar that I am talking about. This is what we need right here. This server jar right here, you have to rename this to server.jar, and there you go. So here we have the server.jar. I will say this, you, if you want a 1.18.2 server, uh, you could have a fabric server for 1.18.2 within the fabric launcher, but because of how Forge is now, unfortunately, you cannot create a 1.18.2 Forge server. However, in the future, things like Magma, which is a Forge and plugin server, will have a jar file for 1.18.2 so that you can play 1.18.2 there. Hopefully, Forge, you know, fixes that, or maybe they've officially moved on, so... Unfortunately, you may not be able to use 1.18.2 Forge, but now what you have to do after you set up the server, you hit start, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna start up the server using the same server jar that you just added in. And as you can see, it looks like it is working. It is officially working and it is done actually. So you can launch up the 1.16.5 Forge, have the same mods, and it will all work very well. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the mods might conflict with each other. So make sure to look up ahead of time if your mods conflict with each other. And overall, that is basically it for this tutorial. I do apologize for some of those people that want to have 1.18.2 servers, but that it, right now it only works for Fabric. Fabric is the only one that works for 1.18.2 because of how Forge, you know, is now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and good.